two that I've, you know, I've had loads of traffic from it, but I know others who have. So I think Instagram is just, for me, it's much more just a visual, pretty, it's just a way of socially engaging visually rather than chatting. So Twitter would be like chat, 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 chat. Instagram is like, I'm showing you something from my life today, you know? So it's, it's not necessarily about clicking through and it's not about saving. Also, um, we had a chat with Pinterest and uh, we were saying about, is Pinterest a, um, a social media channel? And um, they see it more as a kind of Google search. So I don't, I mean, I don't know about, do people, see it as a yeah, yeah. Do people use Pinterest for searching for things? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the sort of way it's heading. They don't see it as a social media platform as such. Pinterest wants to be a social media Whereas Instagram is very chatty and you know people comment and you join in. You know, I think Instagram is just about like, connecting on a personal level. Yeah. Um, how does Pinterest work in like, the copywriting? Because I had an email before where I was like just pinning ideas for like bedroom ideas and um, I was just going through and you know, pinning things and then I had this email like, oh, your pin has been removed because although you didn't pin it originally from this website, like it was breach of copyright and the person doesn't want it on there and oh. it scared me to death. Yeah, I, 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 I would just carry on pinning, not worry about it. What probably happened was that the individual um, whose photo that was complained and Pinterest basically just took action. So, so, so I wouldn't get in trouble for that pinning? No, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, you didn't, well, you didn't get in trouble. No, I mean, they, they just took it away. I think they're just warning you so you know about it. Yeah, they did say, oh, they're not taking any further action. So yeah, 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 yeah. But that's some really formal and scary. But I, I would no, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I think the main thing is with Pinterest is if you're pinning, it's basically, if you can and have time to, you should, is check that it's linking to the right website. So what happens on Pinterest is a lot of stuff gets mispinned. So I have a lot of my photos on Pinterest and you click on them and they don't actually go to my blog. And that's a bit frustrating because it just means kind of like I've shared the idea, which is great, obviously, and I still want people to make, and that's, you know, a big goal of mine, obviously, to get people crafting. But at the same time, I would quite like a click in the traffic because it's quite nice. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's about um, being careful that when you pin yourself is that it does link, and that's all. But I mean, it's, I wouldn't worry too much. So these things happen, basically, and somebody will have just reported it, not, not you specifically, but and then they got fixed and they were unhappy again, so I think it's all right. Could you not put your brand, your brand name or I do, watermark. That's, that's, watermark. that's why I watermark, that's why I watermark, which is why I recommend that everyone watermarks, but I know it's another thing to do with you. It's tricky on Instagram. Um, so moving on to uh, something that Maggie and I have been experimenting with is another uh, website that we have, Fun Cross Kids. It's a, a craft curator, correct curated site. Um, and it was something that we set up together and we focused on Facebook as we were saying earlier about you know having one focus and that was our, our focus but also we set up a Twitter and um, an Instagram account and you can see you know our rush to do that our inconsistency and, and uh, this is something that we will be changing and we would recommend that you do as well is that you have an, a, a consistent look across as if you are a brand um, so you can see uh, you know, we're using this same quick graphic we put in here, but on our Twitter account, uh, it's, it's very different and inconsistent. And also you can see that um, very, we've done this thing of parking um, onto t Twitter from Facebook and, as, and we're doing the same from Instagram to Twitter. So we're not actually interacting, but we have a presence on Twitter. Yes, yeah, so this is... Okay, the question is about logo versus profile pictures. It's again a really good question because I've struggled with that for a long time. I used to have like a logo-ish type blue face for a very long time on mine, and I've, I've, I've changed it. That, that is an interesting point about consistent and inconsistency. But for example, Instagram I feel is a personal platform, so I've changed that to my face, and it's more about me. And it's sort of like a chance to give people that feeling to connect with me. But Facebook is very much the brand. Pinterest is very much the brand. And so I think it is, it is about looking, so Twitter could be either, because Twitter could be, I'm connecting with you on a personal level, or it could be, I'm a brand. Because I'm using it passively, I'm very much Red Tid Art the brand, so the Red Tid Art logo works. I know, I've got my old logo there. Oh, there you go, it's inconsistency. But, but it's, it's, it's a good question, it's something to think about. And I think what you need to think about is not, there's again a right or wrong answer, but how are you using each thing. I mean, with this one, we just blatantly were lazy. We just quickly found some photos and stuck them on. And because Fun Crafts Kids is um, not me, not Ali, but we curate ideas, um, actually the branding would make more sense because it's more, it's more of a 
brand rather than each okay. individual. We were chatting yesterday with Eats Amazing. You should make sure you follow Eats Amazing. It's oh. lovely, Grace. Um, but we were talking about that because she's got a very recognisable Pepper logo. Um, and you know when that when you see that in passing, you, you know that's Grace. So I think that, that's a, it's a really good question. Yeah. But it's like always, there's not always a, a specific answer. It's just about thinking about how you use different things. And, and the reason we wanted to show this with Funcraft's kids is to just so, you know, it's that whole thing about that sentiment at the bottom, but you have to start somewhere. Now, you know, it's not about saying um, you should all have 5,000 followers on all your accounts. It's just saying, get the names, park them, connect the different accounts to feed some information into them. So they look active, because I do sometimes go to Twitter, like yesterday I tweeted Mark from YouTube, or Marco, and my first thing to do was I checked him on Twitter and I went, when did he last say something on Twitter? I, was it a week ago? Was it an hour ago? Was it a day ago? So to give me an idea of, is he actually using it? Will I reach him here? And also, you know, well, I've, I've, I've tweeted a brand before about something and I've checked what kind of things are they tweeting? Are they tweeting what looks automated, which is fine because it's sending information, or are they interacting? So I, is it useful for me to actually message them on Twitter or should I go to a different social media channel? So um, park them. Um, I don't think it's bad to have small, well, I said earlier on you want consistency if you've got a million and then you don't want to hundred somewhere else, but you have to always start somewhere and, and things will, and you will be surprised how much things can go grow passively, if that makes sense. But at least it's there and it's ticking along. And then on the day that suddenly this is the social media of the, like Google Plus, so much discussion about Google Plus. Should I do it? Shan't I do it? Should I do it? Shan't I do it? Oh, it's the next big thing. Oh no, it's dying. Oh, they're going to shut it down. Oh no, it's back again. So, you know, Google Plus is a really good example of you just don't know what to do with it, but it feeds into search engine results. So actually, it's really important.